Thank you very much for joining us on News Blitz. I'm Samantha Rustare. A quick look at our top stories. Preliminary census results out in August. Peacemaker killed in domestic row. Price of cooking oil set to rise again. And in sport, Zim 11 aim for strong finish. And now for the news in greater detail. Zimbabwe's 2022 population census was completed last week. The last time Zimbabwe conducted a census was in 2012 and the population stood at an estimated 14 million people. Preliminary projections are that the country's population has grown to about 17 million. Census Director General Taguma speaks. We were successful. Uh, we managed to conduct uh, the census within the 10 days. Um, and now we are currently doing what is called uh, data cleaning, if you so wish. And within three months, we should be able to produce the preliminary results. And these preliminary results will mostly be looking at demographics. That is, how many people do we have in which localities, how many are male, how many are female, the age groups, and so on. Zimbabwe are set to rise for the umpteenth time this year. A 750 milliliter bottle is going for $700, while a 2 liter bottle is going for $1,800, and a 5 liter bottle is going for $5,000. United Refineries Limited Chief Executive Officer Abusi Samoyo told ZTN News that the supply for cooking oil in the country is uncertain and prices are set to keep rising. Look, is not uh, very certain and it's very unstable. It's brittle. Uh, we're seeing droughts in parts of South America and America, and uh, this is obviously creating upward pressure on prices. So it's a brittle situation, and uh, I think the prices will continue to, to go upwards, unfortunately. Now, a SNAP survey by our team shows that some major retail outlets in Harare CBD do not have the commodity. Uh, to this effect, the president of the Confederation of Zimbabwe Retailers, Denford Mutashu, has said there is need for people to conserve what they have and a need for exports to be banned. So we, we, we just have to conserve that which we have as a country. And um, even where possible, even uh, if, if there are some that are exporting, I think there's no, there's no chance that we need to continue exporting. We need to try and preserve that which we have. Our journalists must be more analytical and balanced in their reportage. Speaking at a gender-responsive reporting workshop in Blauayo on Thursday, digital rights and policy specialist Koliwe Majama said although there has been an improvement in Zimbabwe's reporting standards, more can still be done. The reporting that we have currently should actually reflect what is in the public discourse. And in, in capturing that, there should be a reflection of the divergent views uh, from women, from their different backgrounds, uh, from women in leadership. And when we talk about women in leadership, where we've been through an exercise of also mapping um, what we mean by women in leadership. So we're moving from you know, the conventional thinking of women in leadership being women only in government, but also looking at women who are opinion leaders in our communities, even on platforms such as um, social media. Speaking on the sidelines of the workshop, Hevo Southern Africa project manager Tambutai Mazimure said rural communities are now embracing women leadership. We've got um, community development committees. A lot of them were very male dominated. They didn't have representatives of women. Now we actually have got more women that are there that are speaking to the women's issues. Uh, the other important thing is really just to say the presence of women in these spaces. It's not just to force the numbers and the faces of women. It's also to understand the women's issues from a women's perspective. And that's all we have for you on News Blitz. So thank you for watching.